Hi everyone, my name is Simo. Welcome back to my channel and this week's video is going to be a Queer Eye update. This is just a series where every month I kind of talk about things I've gone up and made progress with and things I'd like to do better on and I kind of look at it through the lens of the Queer Eye guys and the different avenues they explore on their show. If you want to learn more about it, a playlist should be popping up somewhere on your screen where you can click and learn more about my whole journey. And with all that being said, let's just jump right in. Today is May 3rd. As usual, we're gonna start with Bobby. So that's like house stuff, environment stuff, cleaning, environment, my workspace, etc., etc. I actually made a lot of progress on this front. I tidied up a bunch of my tables. I finally put up my posters in a way that makes most of them have, have like, most of them have actually stayed up on the walls. Like they finally seem to have like gripped. The command strips I've used seem to have finally taken. Just like, as a note, get the good command strips. The shitty ones don't work. Tack doesn't work. Just get good command strips. <laughs> I will say, I don't know if you guys can tell, probably you can't because my screen is aim blower, but if you've seen it before in the back, I have a framed art piece of uh, the character Loki. And uh, while I was putting stuff on the wall, <laughs> I knocked the frame off the wall and the frame broke. So now that art piece is just on the wall odds itself because the frame broke and I had to throw it out. So I'm really sad about that because it was a really nice frame and it was a gift from my friend Becca. So I'm sad about that, but at least the art itself was undamaged. But that was kind of a flop this month. I know I said last month I wanted to do a deep clean of the back room and kind of make sure I wasn't getting like moist and like I was getting rid of the pill bugs before they became a huge problem. And I did do that. And so far it seems to have done the trick. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna keep running the dehumidifier just to like keep reducing the moisture, but as of yet, we don't have an infestation. I do, however, have an ant problem down here and I've put out traps, but, and like it's greatly reduced the number of ants, but I still see a couple here and there. So I'm trying to like stay on top of that. And I think continuing to stay on top of the ant issue will be something I wanna keep going forward this month, but I'm proud of myself for having tackled it in April. I know I also said all the hooks and stuff by the wall that I have by the door to like hang up Luna's stuff and jackets and stuff had all come off. And I finally have mounted those in a way that is efficient and they've stayed on the wall for now and they don't seem to be overly heavy and they seem strong. And I also mounted that power bar in my room that I wanted to mount. The only thing is I mounted, I mounted two things with Velcro strips and I'm hoping they don't damage the wall under them because if they do, I'm fucked a little bit, but that's future Seamus problem. I did before I like put them up, I did Google like how to take Velcro off walls without damaging them. And there were like instructions, so I'm sure it's like possible, but I'll just worry about that later. For now, I'm happy that the thing I wanted to get done is done. <laughs> I think next month I just want to focus on keeping things clean and also clean the bathroom. I think that's a good goal to have for next month. Moving on to Antony, I know I said last month I had COVID and that kind of impacted what I could eat. And I feel like I've still kind of like fallen off a bit just because um it's really like, I don't know how to describe it. Like I'm mostly better, but I still have a couple symptoms and like I get really like tired really easily and I just feel like very fragile. So like doing everything just feels like I don't know, like I'm almost scared to do it. Like cooking requires me standing up for a long period of time and like chopping things and like, like it's like I probably would be fine to do it, but I'm like almost afraid because like I'll do something like walk to a bus stop and I'll be like so much more winded than I would have been before I got COVID that I'm like almost apprehensive. Like I keep ordering food in is the TLDR about this. And uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, you probably can, but I can definitely tell that I've, like even without having weighed myself, which is something I do want to do, I still haven't been able to get myself to do it. I know I've gained a lot of weight back and I just don't feel as good. Like I feel kind of gross. So I really want to get back on that eating healthy bandwagon. I'm thinking about maybe doing keto again. I don't know. We'll see. But I just have not been eating well. I've been ordering in a lot. Some of that can be attributed to COVID. Some of that can be attributed to like my own like laziness. Um, it's kind of a combination of things. I don't have a lot of energy either, but I really, so I don't really have like anything good to say about the month of April, but I do want to make an effort in May to get back on the bandwagon. And I know I said that last month, but I am starting to like slowly, slowly, slowly feel better. So I really wanna start doing that. Moving on to tan. So that is like fashion, outfits. I don't have a whole lot of updates there. I've continued my declutter. I think I have to retire this Paramore shirt that I've had for like a decade. I'm pretty sure I got it in like 2013 or something or maybe 2014, I can't quite remember, but it's like, it's pretty old. It's like almost 10, 10 years old, I'm pretty sure. I need to, I think, retire it because it's just like, completely lost shape and it's super faded and like the fabric just feels like super worn. Like it feels like a rag, even though it's a shirt that I've been wearing pretty regularly, which is sad because I love that shirt and it means a lot to me, but it's just really old. So I think I'm gonna have to like, not quite declutter it because I think it's because I have so many memories with it. I wanna put it in the pile of band shirts. I wanna turn it into a big quilt of old band tees one day, which is a project I've had in mind probably for like five or six years. And I just need to like find someone who I can who like is willing to do it, that I can pay to do it because there's like websites and stuff, but I would rather not have to pay to like ship the shirts and stuff. I'd rather just like give them to somebody and 
have them give me a price. Sorry I keep rubbing my face, I'm like really tired. But that's the plan for that shirt. I've been decluttering a couple other things because I've gained some weight. A lot of my older clothes that have gotten loose fit me again. So I'm glad I haven't quite declared those yet, but I really need to, yeah, just get rid of stuff. Especially because I've ordered a bunch of the Minecraft YouTuber merch and I need to make space for it before it gets here. <laughs> yeah, I ordered the Technoblade merch I mentioned last month, so. Funny story about that. <laughs> I accidentally put the address to my friend Elaine's house and then I had to frantically email them to be like, hey, can you not send this to my friend Elaine's house? Because ShopPay automatically filled in her address because the last thing I'd ordered from ShopPay before I ordered that was her birthday present. And I had to be like, fuck. Hey, can you guys not send this to Ottawa, please? So it should be coming to my house now, but it might not. I don't really know. I don't even tell, but I'm wearing like spring clothes. I have this like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like a, it's like a tie dye, like a pink beige tie dye jumpsuit and this like yellow cardigan thing on top of it because it is officially spring weather and I don't know we're trying to get the colors out we're trying to get the outfits out I've been wearing a lot of rompers rompers are my like new spring summer thing I, I very much love them they're just so easy to put on and they make you put in so much effort I went to give we'll talk about this in Karamo's bit but I went to give blood and I was wearing this gray <laughs> like romper and I got a compliment from the blood clinic and I was like thank you so anyway yeah, spring, summer clothes going great. The one thing is I have like a shit ton of shoes, but for some reason every time, now that it's not like winter and I don't want to like wear my docks as much, every time I go to go outside, I'm like, fuck, what shoes should I wear? Why do I have no shoes? And I think part of it is because I have like wide feet. Like, I feel like shoes are super finicky for me. Like shoes that will be totally fine one day will like, just like suddenly become uncomfortable. So like, I have my Birkenstocks, which are comfy, but after like, if I'm, I'm walking in them for more than like an hour, or two, they'll start giving me blisters. So like those are kind of risky if I want to go for like a long period of time. I have like sneakers, but again, like those are like, like Converse sometimes bother me and sometimes don't. My Vans used to be really comfortable, but they're not as much anymore. I had Keds that are kind of comfortable some days, but sometimes they rub the back of my feet, but it's just like, it's so hard to figure out. So I'm like, what am I supposed to wear this summer? <laughs> or this spring, you know, like I don't want to wear like Doc Martens when it's summertime, which is not very punk of me, but it's how I feel, man. Boots are fall winter for me and in spring, summer, I want to wear different shoes. Also, it's just not like, I feel like it's not good to wear the same pair of shoes like every single day. This is what my dad tells me at least, and he's right about it. It's like, if you wear the same shoes 365 days a year, they're gonna be stinky. You should let them air out. So I need a different pair of shoes so my docks can air out. Uh, moving on to Jonathan Van Ness. So like grooming, hair, makeup, brows, teeth, whatever. My brows need a refresh. I got them done, but they need a refresh. But my mom's not in the country right now. I usually get my brows refreshed when I go visit my mom because her house is near the mall where the brow people are. So we're kind of on our own for now. I could always just go uptown just to do my brows, but I don't want to do that, man. It's so much effort. I've been doing actually, I think better on my teeth. I feel like the last week or so, I finally had like the energy to regularly do them. And we're going to try to keep up on the teeth brushing and the mouth washing and the flossing because I also feel like I have a dentist appointment coming up probably soon and I don't want to hear what they're gonna say but I think I've been doing better like I, I do feel like it's it it's less of a moving mountain type of situation now so that's good my stuff from the Sephora sale came and I'm very excited about it one all hits no misses I'm pretty sure two I feel like I was pretty tame with the Sephora sale. I know people are gonna look at my Sephora video and be like, you spent like $400, bitch, what are you talking about? But like, I feel like for me, I was very tame from the Sephora sale. It wasn't even $400, I feel like, cause it was like, yeah, it was like 350, I think for me. So I think I was very tame. I think all the stuff I got was good. I don't think a lot of it was refills. I wasn't just like buying shit for the sake of it. So anyway, the, the milk stuff was awesome. Like very impressed with the milk stuff. I kind of want to make like a little like sample makeup bag because I feel like I have enough makeup that I could just make a per like a perpetual like in my bag minis makeup thing to like touch up on the go and just always have that in my bag and never put that stuff like back in my collection. I thought like that would be a smart thing to have so I might throw that together. I haven't done my nails yet. I said last month I was going to do them. Didn't have the energy. Still haven't done them. I want to do them though because they've grown out again and I feel like they would be like nice with some spring colors so I want to do that. I also need to clean my brushes again. They're getting kind of grimy yet again and I want to really like get them clean before it becomes like a six hour long desperate situation where I have to scrub and scrub and scrub for hours because they have like two years of makeup built upon them so I have to probably clean my brushes again this month I'm gonna try if I have the energy and the other exciting thing is I know I said last month I was thinking about ordering the My Chemical Romance hip dot makeup I did it I got the three cheers makeup set but then because I'm a cr insane completionist person I was like well if I have the 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 three cheers one Surely I must get the Danger Days one, which they're not selling anymore. And I was like, okay, fine. 
you can get the Danger Days one if you're not getting it overpriced because you don't want it enough to get it to like pay extra for it, right? So I went on eBay, shout out for eBay. And like, this is so funny too, because there was a bunch that were overpriced and then there just happened to be one listing that was ending the next day that you could bid on. That was like in Ontario, like, and it was like, the price was like $82 Canadian plus $20 shipping. No, it was 80 Canadian plus like 20 bucks shipping. And I was like, that's like $100 Canadian, which is like, maybe even less than that set would have been if I just bought it from the hip hop website. So I was like, okay, fine, I'm gonna put a bid in and I put in $81 and it automatically rebid me and like, to be like, not be the top bid. So then I did 82 and then I just kept an eye on it for like 16 hours and nobody outbid me. So I got it for like a hundred bucks and I'm just like, what the fuck? Anyway, that one's come, the eBay one's come, that was in Ontario. I'm still waiting for the actual three cheers one to get here. But once it does, I think I'm gonna do like a My Chemical Romance makeup video and I think it's gonna be really fun. But I'm very excited. I'm not expecting the makeup to be good, but this is one of those things where I was like, I don't care if the makeup is good, I just wanna have it as like a collection thing and to like put it on the vanity because the like boxes they come in are really cute. So yeah, very excited about that. Let's move on to Karamo. So he's again, as usual, the bulk of these videos. Hello, Luna, my dog is coming over. Karamo is like social stuff, mental health stuff, hobbies cultural things, I don't know, everything. So, like I said earlier, I gave blood, which is exciting, because it's something I've been wanting to do for several years now. And when I worked at HuffPost, which is where I used to work, if you didn't know. Hi, Luna. Oh, my puppy, she's here, my puppy is here. When I worked at HuffPost, every three months, some people I worked with would go give blood, but they would always do it during lunch, which was like at noon. And I never worked before too, unless it was like a special thing, like the royal wedding or something or an election. But I usually worked from 2 p.m. on, yeah, I can't speak. I would usually work from 2 p.m. onwards. So I was never here when they would do the blood donation thing. So I was, I, I, but my whole thing was I wanted to give blood, but I didn't want to go alone. So I was like, okay, I need to go with somebody. And so finally my roommate, she gives blood pretty regularly. So she was like, hey, I'm going on Monday. Do you want to come with? And I was like, yes. So I went and I gave blood and it's possible I may have make, made an oopsie and accidentally lied to Canadian Blood Services because they were like, have you had COVID in the past 28 days? And I was like, is this 28 days since the start of symptoms or end of symptoms? And they were like, S end. And I was like, yes. And they were like, okay, when did your symptoms end? And I kind of was like, I don't know. I haven't really kept track. And I kind of just arbitrarily said like April 10th. And they were like, if it had been April 11th, you wouldn't have been able to give blood. But I don't know if that's accurate. Like, I don't know. I just I just made that up because it was like about two weeks after my symptoms started. So, because my symptoms started on like the 27th of March. So I was like, I feel like April 10th is not like a bad date to guess, but I, I, I have no idea. And then they tested my hemoglobin and it was 125 and you have to have 125 or higher to actually give blood. So I was like, okay, cool. We're right on the border for everything. So I hope my blood was usable. If not, it was a good experience even if they had to throw it away. So I'm, I'm glad I know how it goes now so I can, like I feel comfortable going back alone now and I feel very good about it. I wanna be a good person and I feel like giving blood is part of being a good person and I highly encourage anybody who can do it to do it. This is a big thing. The other thing is I think my antidepressants are working but I'm not like totally sure because here's the thing. Here is the thing. One, I don't know if I'm expecting too much of them. Two, I'm, I feel like I've been in a bit of an up this month in the sense that I've had a lot more like motivation to do like just like very basic tasks like brushing my teeth or washing the dishes or whatever. But the thing is, even before I was on them, I would have months like that. Like I would have months of like dips, 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 really bad mood. And then I would have months where I like had energy and could motivate myself to do things. And then they would, they would go away. So like part of me is like, is this the antidepressant or is this just like a natural high? And I don't know. So we're gonna keep an eye on it. But I will say I have been feeling good this month. Like not great, but definitely better. Like definitely like I have more energy. On the COVID front, I am mostly recovered. I'm just like more tired than I was before. Like I said, I get winded way easier. My heart rate is still a little bit elevated to what it was before and it like gets higher really quickly. Like I, I think I carried like some groceries and my heart rate was like 140, which is crazy. The thing with the, 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 the blood thing where I was confused about the COVID symptoms is, is like for the most part, my symptoms are totally gone. But if I like overexert, I'll start coughing again. And sometimes just randomly in the morning or evening, my sore throat will come back, but it'll go away. Like, it's not like, it's weird. Like, I don't know how to describe it. And my nose is like flummy, but it's, it was flummy before COVID a little bit. So I'm not super worried about that. It's mostly just like some of the like throat symptoms will just like randomly come back. So 
weird, don't like it, don't recommend it, please wear a mask. Ooh, so the huge exciting news from last month is I know last month I said I needed six more followers to become a Twitch affiliate. Well, guess what guys, I'm a Twitch affiliate now. So that's exciting. I'm very happy about it. It's been very fun. I have emotes now. I am kind of bummed because I thought I could give emotes to people for free, but apparently you have to do 60 streams as an affiliate to unlock follower emotes, which I think is stupid. So right now I can only give them to subscribers. So not everybody can use my emotes, but I actually have subscribers, which is weird. I didn't think I'd have any. So very excited, very happy. It's very fun. I get ads now, which is kind of annoying. I don't want, I wish I could turn ads off because like they don't make me money. <laughs> And they're just annoying for everybody watching who's not a subscriber. Like I've looked at like my quote unquote like revenue so far and it's about like 20 bucks and some change, right? And it's like the vast majority of that is bits people have given me, subscriptions people have given me. And then of the $20 and some change, 15 cents of it is ads, which is like, I don't, can I just like, I wish I could turn ads off because they do nothing for me. I'm sure they do plenty for Amazon, but fuck them. <laughs> It does nothing for me. I only wanted to be an affiliate for the channel points and the emotes. And the channel points are very fun. My friends love to waterboard me and make me drink water. I make me take care of myself. It's very irritating, but it's fun. And people like to use the Luna Cam one, which is my favorite too, because it means you pay 500 channel points and I get to make Luna do tricks. So it's fun. Everybody wins. And I almost dropped my phone, but let's not worry about it. But yeah, affiliate is really fun. The other thing is, I noticed last month that I was, oh, I finished Outlast one and the whistleblower DLC, which is exciting. I never like, did not think I could do it, but I finished both. And can I just say the DLC is like so much more graphic and gory than the first game. So I'm like a little bit afraid for what Outlast 2 is gonna entail, which I know I said I didn't think I, could, I was gonna be able to play, but I figured out a way to stream for my PS4 through OBS on my Mac without a capture card, which I didn't think was possible. Like I knew you could stream from the PS4 directly to Twitch, but I didn't think you could do it through your computer without a capture card. But apparently you can with remote play which is only a little bit glitchy. So I'm probably gonna get Outlast 2 and do that and play other PS4 games as well, which is great because it means I can play Hades and Detroit Become Human and Until Dawn all through my Mac, hopefully. So I'm excited for that. And excited to explore it and hoping it's not too glitchy because if it's if it actually works, it's very promising and very exciting. It opens a whole new world to me, including playing Five Nights at Freddy's, which is something I really wanna do. I'm feeling very good just about my social stuff in general. I feel like I had a, a bit of like a period there where I was like really struggling to come up with like content ideas for YouTube, especially, but I have a bunch of ideas. Like there's a video I've been wanting to make for like three weeks now and I just keep having to put it off because I have to do other videos first, but I think probably it's gonna be my video for next week. And I'm like so excited to do it. I have a bunch of videos in mind. I'm like very excited. I don't know, like I feel like I had a bit of a lull there where I was like, putting out videos every week felt like a bit of a chore because I was like really like desperate, like what is my idea for this week? Shit, shit, shit. But I feel like I have a lot of ideas for the future, so I'm excited. And I feel good about YouTube. I feel good about Twitch. I am having fun, so that's a good thing. I did my taxes, my refund came in, I paid off my credit card. <laughs> so financially, we're doing better. I am trying to be smarter about my spending, but I think I'm in a good place. I'm not mad about it, so that's exciting. I have treated myself, obviously, like I said, I bought some merch, bought some makeup, bought some things, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about it. <sighs> On the media front, I finished the morning show. I'm almost done Our Flag Means, De Means Death, which is the gay pirate show. I'm, I think me and my roommates have watched seven out of 10 episodes. So we have like three more left and then we'll be done. So that's exciting. I think after I'm done that, I'm probably gonna do Succession next, unless somebody else recommends me a different show that's shorter. The reason I was originally gonna do Succession first and then Our Flag Means Death, but OFMD is only 10 episodes and each one's like half an hour. So I thought it would be faster to get through. So, and it was, it was faster to get through. So once I'm done, I'm gonna move on to Succession probably unless I find another like short, quick to get through show or if a show that I've been watching drops a season before I move on to Succession. Like if the Umbrella Academy or Stranger Things seasons drop before I've started Succession, I'll probably move on to those first. As part of my having energy again this month, I've started training Luna again, not like long, just like 10 minute training sessions before I go to bed every night. And that's been great. I think she's been enjoying it. I've been having fun. It's just like, it's like, it's great when she does something and she gets it. I feel so proud and it's been fun. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm glad I've discovered <laughs> that love again. And like, of just like making her do stuff, not cause she needs to do it, but because it's fun for both of us. Like there was a bit there where I was only making her do stuff like sit when I need, like I needed her to sit and not just cause we were having a fun little training session. But I am feeling like the mental health is getting better and hopefully we, I can start doing things just to do them again and not because I absolutely have to. Have therapy was good, it was a bit awkward actually. I hate therapy exercises where they make you like look at a chair and like imagine it's like yourself or a different person and you're talking to that. Like, I just feel really stupid doing that kind of thing, but apparently it helps. So I've been doing stuff like that. Yeah, so therapy has been a thing. What else? 
my sleep schedule got fucked again like i said last month it was because of covid but then also i was on the 6 p.m 1 a.m shift which always fucks up my sleep schedule but this week i'm on the 2 p.m 9 p.m again so i'm hoping i can fix it because that's like the optimum when i'm on 2 p.m 9 p.m i can fix it and then if i can maintain it to always be going to bed at 2 a.m and waking up at 10 a.m then that will work for me no matter what my schedule is i just need to like be able to maintain it so i'm trying really hard to get it back to that because I said I said I'm still getting like super winded and like doing basic tasks like walking or carrying things gets my heart rate going up to like 130, 140. I still haven't started working out again, but I really want to because like I said I'm feeling really out of shape and really like bloated and it's really heavy. So I do genuinely want to start working out again, but I have to take it slowly because COVID. But hopefully soon I can do more than just like walk or lift groceries. I just feel so like fragile is the best way to put it. Like I feel like a baby bird. <laughs> You know, I gotta take it slowly, 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 lest I like fall and die. I think that's it. Sorry if this is like a quick or a short one. I just haven't had a whole, I feel like I have had a lot to say, but I don't know. This feels just like a shorter one than usual. I guess my goals for the month of May are I need to clean the bathroom, get back on the healthy food, baking food, cooking food, being healthy, bandwagon. I would like to paint my nails because I think that would be fun. Keep, keep on keeping on with summer clothes, figure out my summer shoes, keep decluttering. Work out if I can, if I feel like I'm ready for it. Clean my makeup brushes. Keep on the keeping the cle teeth clean. Keep at it on the socials, like, you know, Twitter, Facebook. Not Facebook, what the hell am I talking about? YouTube and Twitch, especially. And also Twitter, I have fun on Twitter. Twitter's hell, but I do have fun on it sometimes. Keep improving with Luna's training. She's such a good girl. Maybe I can teach her something new. Maybe we can give her a new trick. And fix my sleep schedule. Those are my big goals, and we'll see what else I accomplish. I think that's it. <laughs> If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you want to follow me on other social media platforms, you can follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, on Twitch, and on TikTok. And if you want to take out with me other videos, I post new videos every Wednesday. So please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys all next week. Bye!